What if vampires just needed a hematologist? Enter the many faces of porphyria, the OG vampire disease, with types so dramatic, they basically wrote the rulebook for spooky folklore. First, there's cutaneous porphyria. Sunlight? Hard pass. These folks get blisters, burns, and scars if they try for a tan, so they only come out at night. Their skin may darken, get hairy in awkward places, and heal slower than most political campaigns. Add reddish or brown urine, just the conversation starter you need in a medieval hamlet. Then we have acute porphyrias, which attack the nerves. Sufferers get spells of pain, anxiety, confusion, even temporary paralysis. But sorry, D&D fans, they don't grow fangs or turn into bats. And for maximum gothic horror, there's congenital protoporphyria. These are super rare, kick in at birth or early childhood, and make skin burst into blisters under even faint sunlight. They can even stain the teeth red, as if nature was going for that fangs with blood stains look. Medieval treatment? Sometimes blood drinking. Legit doctor's orders. Because why not lean into the brand? Like and subscribe for more proof that sometimes real medicine is way weirder than horror movies. And always wear sunscreen. Or, you know, just avoid Transylvania.